Daniel, you're welcome to make me laugh when people can earn money if they can keep them laughing. And here are the gentlemen who are going to create the last for us tonight, our very important comedy guest stars, and they are first Mr. Biff Meaner. Yeah. Biff! Mr. Bill Kirkenbauer! Hey. And then we're working in just one moment against our fabulous contestants as well as our celebrity contestant. We're playing for big prizes, one of the lucky people in our audience. Our celebrity contestant tonight is great football star from USC, recently signed with the Los Angeles Rams, Anthony Davis! He's a rock contestant facing three comedians one at a time for 60 seconds. They're in one dollar for each second, they don't laugh. If they last the full three minutes, we're gonna double the money. Contestants are in the studio audience, and they filled out these cards, and I'm gonna look at this card and see if I can read this name. Yes, I can. Why, my God, it is Jan Young! Jan Young! Turn around and take your time. That's it. Relax. How are you, Jen? Look, she is taking her time. Isn't that nice? Hiya. Cute lady. Where are you from? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. What do you do for a living, Jen? Right now, I'm just a homemaker. A homemaker? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know how to play Make Me Laugh? Yes, I do. Get a dollar a second. All you have to do is turn around, face the comedians, I'm going to say. <laughs> Biff Maynard, Jan Young says, Make Me Laugh. Go ahead. How do you handle a hungry man? <laughs> Knock three times on the ceiling if you want me, and twice on the pipe if the end. <laughs> Hello. I'm Johnny Cash Jr., Johnny Change. <laughs> I'd like to sing a song right now from a stinky album. <laughs> Grandma's favorite, it goes like this. Well, there's a pimple on my colon, so I won't be a going bowling on Friday night. <laughs> But you still have to face the unknown comic. Unknown comic, Jan Young. Hey, dear news. Someone stole all the toilets at the Los Angeles police station. <laughs> yeah, police have nothing to go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Governor Brown said he was going to drive all the prostitutes out of Los Angeles. And he's right. I saw him driving three to Las Vegas last week. <laughs> Nixon told his wife he was thinking of going back into politics. She said, honestly, he says, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, there was a big fire in a shoe factory downtown. <laughs> yeah, 2,000 souls were lost. <laughs> Some heel started it. <laughs> yeah, they're coming up with a new coin. It has Nixon's face on one side and his other face on the other side. <laughs> You still have Bill Kirkenbauer to go. Bill, Jan, Jenny, Bill. Jan Young. Mighty Jan Young. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Oh, I'm just fine. <laughs> you know, I got a problem. You know, people think that I'm, you know, because I kind of act weird here. They think that I'm kind of weird. And I don't know where, I, you know, I, I'm a comedian. And I, you know, I, I don't know. They just think that I'm weird all the time. You know, and I, it bothers me. They don't think I'm a human being. And, I, uh, and excuse me. Ah! <laughs> 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 All right. Ah, oh, 
Oh, yes, please. All right. All right, we got you, Dan. We got Dan, and she got us for $156. I want to congratulate you, and thanks for being a Make Me Laugh. Jam up, ladies and gentlemen. Now, seven. Our next contestant who was chosen for the studio audience is Jerry Addison. Comfortable? Uh -huh. Good, all right. Nice to see you. Lovely, your lovely hands and rings, and oh. everything's very nice. And... <laughs> but, uh, uh, how are you, Jerry? You like to play Make Me Laugh? Mm -hmm. You do? You're yeah. laughing already. Yes, I know. You get a dollar a second, okay. if you can last. All you have to do is turn your seat around like this, watch your leggy poos. <laughs> you want to say, Biff Maynard? Jerry Otteson says, Make Me Laugh! <laughs> Hi, Jerry. How are you? Hi. Yeah. This, uh, this, uh, this bar I was at in Alabama, I was sitting at this bar, you know, and this black guy comes in. And the bartender, uh, he gets real flighty, you know, and he goes back and tells the manager, he says, hey, boss, uh, there's a black guy sitting at the bar. What do you think I should do? And the boss says, charge him $20 a drink. And he says, what do I do if he pays it? He says, throw all that white trash out of here. <laughs> So, uh, oh, just a minute, I gotta call my ugly wife. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, listen, Jerry, do you think, uh, do you think there's proms in the Arctic? Good <laughs> question, I don't know. Eskimo formal gear? <laughs> I don't know. Looks like you walked away with... All right, Jerry, we got 60 bucks. But here comes the unknown comic. Unknown comic, Jerry Addison. Just trying to sweep you off your feet. <laughs> oh, you're such a beautiful lady. Look at these hands. Everybody told me I had nice hands when I was a kid that they should be on a girl. <laughs> something to me and I'll do something. <laughs> How'd you like to be my overnight bag? <laughs> I was with this kinky girl the other night wanted me to wear a leather bag. <laughs> kinky leather? No, no. How'd I? <laughs> I tell you the truth, I have a hard time getting into relationships with girls. See, in order to get into a relationship with a girl, you have to respect them and I just cannot respect any girl that would want to go out with me. <laughs> I'd like to go to some nice French restaurant, Jacques in the Box. <laughs> Not interested, huh? You certainly are a beautiful lady. Nice meeting you. Jerry, $120. Hey, Jerry. Hi, how you doing there? And now, a public service announcement. Remember, only you can get the horse flying. Oh, he finally came out and said hi. <laughs> Remember. with pretty girls, right? All right. You got yourself $151, Jerry, and he just got that joke. Thanks for being on Make Me Laugh. Thanks, Jerry. Jerry right. Time to meet our next contestant who's somewhere in the audience, and that person is Cora Espinosa. Oh, boy, yeah. You're a cute young lady. Thank you. 
We got full of energy and pep. Where are you from? Alhambra. Alhambra? Mm -hmm. What do you do for a living, Cora? I'm an x-ray instructor. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. Good. Well, let's the hell with the game then. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> Turn around. I'm going to say Fifth Maynard. Cora Espinosa says, make me laugh. <laughs> You ever wonder why about things, Cora? You know, like, I wonder why people buy those little tiny 29 cent plants in supermarkets to bring them home to die. <laughs> you know? Where do flies go at night, Cora? <laughs> Where do they go, you know? I guess now, since uh, we have relations with China, I guess in every Chinese city there will be an America town. <laughs> well, I'll go down to America town and have a Big Mac. Even a spoon. You think flamingos have wrought iron Italians on their lawns? <laughs> anyway. You ever sit in a crowded bus car and wonder why all the other people don't have a car? <laughs> you ever do that? Always some greasy hippie in the back frying hamburgers. <laughs> Cora, you got $60. Here comes the unknown comment. Here's Cora. Say hello to Cora. Hello, 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 hello. You're an x-ray technician, huh? <laughs> yeah, I used to go with a girl that was an x-ray technician and could see right through her. <laughs> she get it, could see, all right. Hey, you think I'm weird, don't you? <laughs> you think you're weird? Yes. Yes, you probably realize that by the way you're talking to a guy with a bag over his head, right? Miss <laughs> <laughs> Clippering. <laughs> It's been, a pretty, it's been a pretty good year for me since I put this bag over my head. I'm last year was not a good year. Last year was so bad, would you believe I was selling furniture? Who? <laughs> my own. <laughs> I'm only doing this temporarily, though. I hope to eventually become a forklift operator. <laughs> yeah, I used to sell maternity dresses to schoolgirls in their high school colors. <laughs> One time I worked in a bubblegum factory. Yeah, one day I fell into a huge vat of bubblegum. <laughs> My boss chewed me out. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you got one hundred twenty dollars, but you still have Bill Kirkenbauer to go. Bill, Cora Espinosa. Hi, Cora. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Do you, you drive motorcycle? No, I don't. Oh, why'd you wear your helmet then? <laughs> 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 oh, just, just a little kidding. <laughs> You're an X-ray uh, technician, huh? Oh, I thought you said you were an X-ray musician. I didn't understand that. That's interesting. You know what I don't like about X-ray uh, technicians? They tell you, it won't hurt. It won't hurt. It won't hurt. And they put a 50-pound apron on you and leave the room. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Remember when you, remember you when you, Called 20 seconds of filling. <laughs> hey, you were terrific, Corey. You just won yourself $180. You went the full three minutes. We're going to double it. Just got yourself $360 and make me laugh. <laughs> Gentlemen, now ready for our celebrity contestant who will be playing for a member of our studio audience. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to please welcome former U.S. All-American, recently signed with Los Angeles Rams, a terrific guy, Mr. Anthony Davis! <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. Nice to have you on Make Me Laugh. You are a super ball player. And I'll tell you, so it's nice to have you with the Rams, I'll tell you the truth. You enjoying it? Glad to be home. Glad to be home is right. That's right. You are home. For these fans out here. That's right. Yeah, I love you. Now we play the game, right? 
Anthony, uh, all the people in the audience filled out cards. Uh, drop them in the box here. Just reach in, find a name for us, and we'll play the game, all right? Reach right in there for us, Andy. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's see who the lucky person is. Rob Mullins. Rob, where are you? Where's Rob? There he is. There's Rob. Hi, Rob. Nice to see you. Where are you from, Rob? Uh, Buena Park. Buena Park. You know, you just got a prize just for sitting down, but you can win some super prizes in the next three minutes. And Johnny Gilbert's going to tell you what Anthony Davis can win for you. Johnny? Well, Rob, just for playing Make Me Laugh with us, as a lucky member of our studio audience, you'll receive a wild day in the West at Knott's Berry Farm. A great chicken dinner at their famous restaurant and a basket of their great preserves and jellies from Knott's Berry Farm. If our celebrity should last longer than one minute, we will add Skyway's newest luggage for easier handling on stairs, curbs, and tight places. Upright luggage on wheels, outdoor twist fabric in colors including blazer blue, upright luggage on wheels furnished by Skyway. If our celebrity lasts longer than two minutes, we will also add a luxury week at the Hacienda Hotel in Las Vegas, personal airport limousine service, ice fantasy review, gourmet dining in the charcoal room, continuous lounge entertainment furnished by the Hacienda Hotel. And if that isn't enough, if our celebrity should last the entire three minutes, we will also add Tappan's famous microwave oven. This Tappan Touch model features six automatic memory levels and automatic temperature probe, which senses the interior temperature of food and turns the oven off as you wish from Tappan appliances. They could all be yours. Let's go back to Bobby. Okay, Rob. You want some great fries. Anthony, you all set? All right. Get it out of your system, Davis. All right? Turn you around. I'm going to say, Biff Brainerd, Anthony Davis says, make me laugh. Go get him. Hi, Anthony. How are you, man? I look pretty clean cut, but uh, I got to admit, I'm a member of a motorcycle gang. Kind of a charity motorcycle gang. <laughs> Hell Shriners. <laughs> we ride Harvey Davidsons. <laughs> you know, you know what bothers me, Anthony, is that a lot of great sports that I really like got discontinued because they never really took off, you know? Like, I'd see, like to see some of the Olympic events come back, like sand skating, <laughs> the garbage toss, <laughs> oil diving. How about the belly and face drag? <laughs> You're driving by a 747, you know? Lead Frisbee was a good one. <laughs> like that. How about Goodminton? You ever play that? No? You ever done the smoke and sprint? <laughs> that was a good one. I kind of like the 20-meter uh, 20, 20 freestyle dog kick, though. I think that was... Here comes General Connor. Hello, Connor. Hello, Anthony. Ha, 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 
Maybe this one's from Super Gifts. Compliments from Anthony Davis and Johnny Gilbert's going to tell you what they are. Well, Rob Mullins, you want a day at Knott's Berry Farm, Skyway Luggage, Week in Las Vegas, and the Microwave Oven. They are all yours with our congratulations. Anthony Davis, I want to wish you good luck in your acting career, in your football career, and let's take about Anthony Davis. Dave will be right back. have received the following. Popsicle brand frozen treats. Popsicle, fudgesicle, dreamsicle, and creamsicle. The frozen confections loved for over half a century. There's only one genuine Popsicle brand frozen treat. And Popsicle waterproofing seal stain. Regardless of weather, get both deep penetrating color and surface protection for wood, concrete, and masonry with new Thompson's waterproofing seal stain. Also, Ditto's announcing a complete line of pants, tops, skirts, and sweaters for today's young woman. Ditto's a whole lot more than just great fitting jeans. Plus, Q-tips cotton swabs. They're softer on the sides than the next selling swab. 50% softer Q-tips you can really feel the difference.